So here's a dilemma. You take your mobile phone or your iPad or other tablet outside. Can you really see it that well? Apical from the UK have got a solution to that problem. Mike Tush is here. Mike, tell us what you've done. Well, we've taken a new approach to this problem, which is a fundamental problem for all displays, in the sense that if you're in a dark room, uh, you can watch a movie or play a game quite happily, but we aren't normally in a dark room. Uh, mm. We're often in uh, quite bright conditions, actually. We're sitting on a, on a fairly sunny day here, and I'd quite like to watch a movie on my device. It's a portable device, after all. Um, it's very difficult to make that happen because screens really suffer in, uh, in uh, ambient light. They reflect light, and our eyes actually adapt differently. So it's a fundamental problem that can't really be solved just by improving pixels or changing the glass on the display. Uh, we've come up with a new approach, it's based on understanding how the eye works and it's digital processing uh, which actually adapts the content to the display and the result is actually we could watch a movie under these conditions very happily. Okay, show and us actually how it it's works. what we're showing. So, so actually here's a device, um, I've got, I've got a, a, a TV program here that I'd like to watch and uh, I'll just play it here and uh, I think you can probably see this is quite watchable. Um, it's not normally what you'd expect, uh, you wouldn't normally be expect to, to seeing a, a film under these conditions. Um, but I can see it quite, quite happily. I haven't boosted the power of this device. Actually, I'm using less battery than I would normally. Mm. I've actually reduced the display brightness. But because I've compensated for it digitally, I can get a very good experience. And in fact, if I turn off our processing, it's, I don't know if you can see, it looks completely Almost black. Almost disappeared, you, hasn't it? You could never watch this. And that um, would be the native ability of that that's what, platform without your technology. That's what I'd get out of the box if I, if I used this device today. Okay. And just by uh, enabling some, I guess, clever processing inside, uh, I get a great multimedia experience anywhere, and it's done automatically. So uh, the ambient light sensor in the device automatically picks up my viewing conditions, adapts the display to what I'm doing, mm. and I see roughly the same experience in a dark room and in a bright sunny day. These devices typically have a sort of auto brightness, mm -hmm. adjust to your environment right. setting. Mm -hmm. Isn't that enough? Well, it's not really. Um, auto brightness means uh, we increase the display power and brightness as we go into brighter conditions. But it's very wasteful. I mean, the sun is very, very bright. And trying to compete with that using a backlight is going to be very costly. And in fact, this would have to be 50 times brighter uh, to, to give a re reasonable experience on these mm. conditions. So it's, it's doable, but it's very wasteful. And uh, our approach is to use digital processing together with auto brightness control. The two effects are we get this kind of uh, unified experience in all conditions, and actually we save a lot of battery life. Uh, companies have already implemented this, claim up to 50% display power saving, which is a, a large number. That, that translates into extra hours of device usage uh, in a typical uh, day's uh, viewing conditions. And the progress of this technology now is such that it's actually embedded on the chips. That's right. I mean, at Mobile World, we've just announced that uh, Qualcomm have embedded this technology in their latest smartphone and tablet processors. Um, so that's going to start becoming available in handsets and tablets using that processor later on this year.